Mesdames et messieurs, je vais vous demander de faire plus de bruit que jamais pour Madame Cindy Blackburn Hello.
Ok, d'accord. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm here to represent uh, Gretsch Drums, I'll start with. And um, I want to say that it's very important to play instruments that inspire you. Not because they're free, not because you're paid, not because whatever, that's all great too. But you need to be inspired by the instruments that you play. And that's why I play Gretsch drums, because they have tone, they have warmth, and they sing. Um, and I like melodies in drums. I think that the drums um, are very uh, emotional. They're very bombastic, very fiery but they're also very pretty and very romantic at the same time. So I like a drum, um, I have to play a drum that allows me to have all of those emotions and all of those elements in the music that I play, whether it's solo drums by myself or with whatever band I'm playing with. Uh, I need that kind of inspiration because it's musical. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> There's also an incredible lineage and history um, wrapped up, involved, and behind the uh, Gretsch banner. Um, and my most favorite uh, drummers uh, played Gretsch drums and built the music and the sound that they innovated and created around the sound that Gretsch gave them. So for me, it's an honor to be a part of uh, such a lineage that is so great, so musical, so innovative, and so inspiring. Um, and that's why I play Gretsch drums. So thank you, Gretsch, for having me. Thank you, Geva, for having me. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I practice, I, I have to really focus because um, when I hear melodies on the drums, I just want to play melodies all day. You know, I, I hear that. play melodies all day <laughs> so I have to tell myself no today I'm working on this and then I can play melodies later uh, but that's how much I love Gretsch drums um, symbols um, I play Istanbul I got symbols um, and I do that for the very same reasons the very same core reasons that I play uh, Gretsch drums and it's because they inspire me to create. I want to hear a symphony of sounds when I play my grouping of cymbals. So I want to hear, you know, a band. I want to hear its own orchestra. And when I, when I play, I want to be able to to feel creative and feel like, yes, I, I want to create, I want to make music on this sound. And these cymbals allow me to do that, no matter which cymbal I'm playing on. get that. 
if I want to play a, a big fat rock beat, then I get that too. Music. I'm hearing something that inspires me. Um, that's why I play uh, Istanbul Agap cymbals. And um, this is very important because it's an extension of, of my hand. It's an extension of my body. Um, I have uh, found some beautiful friends who make great, great sticks at Vader. And... Um, I play these sticks because they're very consistent, they're very solid, um, and they help me make my drums speak in a musical way, the way that I want them to speak. The toms. These sticks are, are really great. I have my own model <laughs> called the Cindy Blackman Santana Magic Wands. I love Vader. Um, it's a great family, great corporation. Um, I use um, DW hardware, and I do that because the hardware is very sturdy. And uh, now they make varying weights, which is great uh, for the traveling drummer because they make very uh, uh, everything from very light hardware uh, so you can tool around town with it to the most extreme. If you're gonna stand up and do somersaults on your on your kit, <laughs> you're covered. Um, yeah, so that's what I play and that's why. Um, again, I love the lineage and the history of the drums and I think it's important for everyone, no matter what kind of music you play, to be familiar with how this trap set came into being. And rhythmically, it all comes from Africa. Um, when the drum set came to the United States, um, the swing band drummers were playing time on the snare drum, um, like Baby Dodds, um, Chick Webb. They were playing uh, and keeping the time on the, on the snare drum. So after a period, they took that same rhythm, which was a Charleston rhythm, basically, that they were playing on and around, and they moved the timekeeping element from the snare drum to the sock cymbal. So at that time, the bass drum was played very heavy, heavier than what I'm playing it actually right now. But it was played very heavy because they were playing in big bands, you know, large bands with like 20 some odd people in the band. Um, and uh, they moved this timekeeping element to the sock symbol. So after that, thank you. <laughs> um, there was another change. Every time there's a major change in music, there's a change in the rhythmic element. There's a change in the drums. And the, the uh, timekeeping element was moved over to the ride cymbal. Um, initially, drummers like Chick Webb and Sid Catlett and, and uh, Baby Dobbs were playing really teeny cymbals. Well, they started enlarging the cymbals and using them to ride on. So they would play still the same ride pattern, still keeping two and four on the sock cymbal, and they keep the bass drum on all fours. So 
basically, that's, again, it's the Charleston uh, that they're working off of. You know, that, that, that song that you've probably heard somewhere down the line. <laughs> and such. And um, you had a band called um, the Billy Eckstein Big Band, which had Art Blakey on drums, had... Um, Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Parker. Later on, Miles Davis joined that band. But prior to that, Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker, with Charlie Parker's instigation, broke off and played in, in uh, smaller uh, groups. And that's where bebop was formed. So it's important to know this. You don't have to play this kind of music. But it's important to understand the lineage, the pride, and, and um, the royalty of, of this chair. Um, so they broke off and started playing uh, in smaller groups, and the bass drum was then played softer, still on all fours, but it was played softer. So still working kind of off to Charleston, but now off of a lot of the B band, uh, the big band um, uh, uh, horn hits, those became the comping elements for the drummer. So um, after that, you had Kenny Clark step in. And um, the initial drummer was, was Art Blakey. He doesn't really get the credit for playing with the first bebop group, but it was Art Blakey. Uh, Max Roach recorded first, so Max gets the credit, and I love Max, but initially it was uh, Art Blakey. I see my time's out, so I'm gonna just do this real quick. But um, uh, Kenny Clark started dropping what they call bombs on the bass drum. And that's where we started to get much more freedom within our limbs and our comping. That led to drummers like Elvin Jones and, 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 and Philly Joe and Tony Williams who really took it further and gave us many more choices on the comping, many more choices around the kit. And um, that's why we're able to do all the great things that we're able to do today on the drums because those drummers opened up a pathway for everyone to have more freedom and for the drums to not just be a timekeeper in the back, but to be out front, to take chances, to interject with the rest of the band, and to have a very musical voice instead of being, you know, um, a band that said we have 22 musicians and a drummer. Well, now we have 23 musicians and we owe uh, much of that, if not all of that, to these guys. And so the choices that we have now open up the whole kit to really being um, not only the timekeeper, but also the um, uh, element to, to push and add fire and to innovate uh, behind the kit. And I'm going to play a little bit more. I think I'm out of time. And I thank you guys so much.
tous les merveilleux artistes de cette journée nous rejoignent sur scène. Merci de leur réserver le meilleur accueil et de garder un peu de jus pour applaudir. Les amis, c'est le moment. Maximum de bruit Jay Boris Merci, merci encore une fois, mille fois à tous. Merci d'être au rendez-vous chaque année. Rendez-vous l'année prochaine, le même week-end, quand on change l'heure. Merci de votre fidélité. Merci aux artistes. Merci. On est un peu en retard sur le, bleu, sur le planning. On vous dit à l'année prochaine. Merci beaucoup encore. Et Alex Chaffray Cresson Necrutman. Next year, maybe. Thank you. 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 Thank you.